Okay, so we have Illustrator open now, and the, the laser printer that I have here is an Oki uh, data printer, and it's the uh, C711 with white toner. So what I'm going to do, is, and that's a letter size uh, printer, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and just, this is a letter size document. Let's go to File Menu, Place. We'll find our Downloads folder, and here's our downloaded design. And I go ahead and place it. Now what I want to do is resize this to fit. Now what we have to do is we need to check it. So I'm going to grab this thing and just bring half of it over here on this gray background. And the reason I did that is it's just the quickest, easiest way to check for transparency. So we downloaded a transparent PNG. We can tell it's transparent because we see the gray background there. And once you do that, we know we're in good shape, right? So in Illustrator, it's not that difficult to do uh, the underbase. It's, there's just a few steps. So here we go. Once it's placed, you're going to go up to the window menu. And I want to pull up this little panel called Appearance. And there it is right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little fly out menu and we want to add a new stroke to this. Now when we do that, it, you'll see the stroke pops up right here in the menu. And I'm going to go ahead and go to 0.25. Um, you don't see it on screen right now because we have to do something else in order to bring that up. So at this point, let's go ahead and go to the effects menu. We're going to come down to paths and we're going to go to outline object. Now, I don't know if you saw that on screen, but we just added a stroke to this. So now at this point, what I need to do though, if I twirl over here my layers, I want you to take a look. When I come back to the object menu and I come down to expand appearance, you're going to see something else in here. So it has a another layer here. So when I turn off the eyeball of the image, that's our PNG image. And then this is our outline. That's this next light, this next one up right here. So that's our outline. That's our vector path that we just created. And here is the image itself. So we're almost ready. You would think um, we could just go ahead and run it like it is, but we can't. We have to make this path a clipping mask so it understands what it is. So we have to click on our path here and bring it above into its own layer. So we just took it out of this one group layer with the image and put it on its own layer. So we can either select these little buttons right here um, or I'm just going to come out here, click off of it, and then drag select the image and where the the outline, see the little vector path in there. So now we have both of them selected. And then now all we have to do is go to the object menu, come down to clipping mask, make. Now this says the top object is very complex and may cause the document to fail to print or preview if it's used as a mask. So you want to make it anyway. Right here I would say you tell, let's go ahead and say yes. And nine times out of 10, you're going to have no problems. And I'll tell you how to tell if you have that one instance. So I'm going to hit yes. And we happen to have that one instance. So you see there's my image disappears. And when that image disappears, we have to do one thing first. So I'm going to go ahead and command or control Z to bring it back. And now what I want to do is just come back to my layers and click on the layer with just my outlines, right? Just my path. I got to make it selected here. So I got to click on the little path here, a little button rather. I'm going to go to object menu, compound path, and I'm going to make it one unit right so now what I'm gonna do is gonna click off of it and then drag select everything and now go to object menu clipping mask and make and here's that same little warning we're gonna go ahead and hit yes and I, now that you can see the image we're ready to go just make it a compound path that simplifies the actual artwork and it pastes it in there so now we as long as you see in the image we have our path in there we just made it a compound uh, path and a clipping mask and when you go ahead and print it it's going to work and there'll be another video to show you how to do all the setups in the printing from illustrator